in the last video I was uh, looking at the least uh, data bound controls in this video I'm going to be looking at another set of controls called the tabular or tabular whatever you call it is uh, the render uh, the database data in form f in forms of tables so uh, this in the last video we can see that uh, the list uh, controls uh, very simple controls. This one's the more rich controls, and you can uh, modify a lot of properties on them. So, uh, there are two types of date, the tabular data bound controls. Uh, the first allow you to only page through your data once at a time. Let me explain what I mean. Uh, for example, if we uh, use the details view, uh, the details view. Um, you can only render let's choose a data source here which is still the uh, data source we used the last time um, let's view the how it renders as you can see it will render the um, data one record at a time so uh, let me modify more properties I can enable the paging so that it gives us the pages so we can go from one page to the next so if, if we view it again we can see that um, we can actually uh, tab I mean uh, page through our data from the database okay um, another one that is very very similar is very similar to the uh, details view is the form view the form view um, actually if you don't if, let's enable the paging from uh, for this one as well and view it as you can see that it looks pr very similar and they work but uh, the difference is that one renders uh, the data as a HTML table the other one uses a template the form view uses a template and the details view uses a um, HTML table so let me explain what I mean if even though we see that uh, both controls they look very similar the way they display the data is look very similar if you go to the source view let's uh, select one of them and go to the source view you can see that this one has rendered a lot of code more than this is the uh, let me show you this is the details view that's all it generates as you can see this is a very small code and look at the form view the form view has generated all these codes and the reason is because it's very easy to work with this one because you can actually go in here and modify this um, as you see fit for example if I want to um, uh, bold the first name and last name all I have to do is just uh, item template and this is the insert template and this is the edit template the reason why you have is you can actually edit items from here as you can see it's easy to work with this one uh, in the co in the source view than t it is to work with this one because I can if I want I can say in the item not, not the insert but the item template I can make this one to be bold I can add a bold so this one to be bold so if you go to this design view you can see that the user ID has been changed to bold but uh, in order to do this one for the uh, details view it is very very difficult uh, for the details for the details view control so I will have to modify that one through here so let me show you uh, the power of this uh, controls because it's actually very easy for you to edit your database what we've done now is we've done something I can uh, what I'm trying to do now is do something called um, uh, two-way data, bind data binding because the default mode is read only right now we can only read the uh, data from the database but you can change this to edit so which allow you to edit the data inside the database so if we go here 
and uh, you see we have a form view now, now we have a text box so let me change Jones to Johnny Johnny best we can update uh, update is not sorry but doesn't unless update command is specified uh, because I have one up uh, let me let me let me sh do let me actually quickly do that let me configure the data source next and uh, advanced so if I generate insert update and delete statement for this and finish so because um, I told you I was going to show you the advanced feature of that uh, so here if I, if I change that to journey I should be able to update it so let's let's check inside our database and see if we've updated the uh, database to journey um, show table data as you can see here now our database now should journey uh, journey best week because uh, we have uh, insert we have uh, modified the database to include the update statement so if we look inside our web.config file now web.config file if we look at this statement uh, uh, sorry I'm, I mean uh, let me go through I want to show you where the those statements have been added it's going to be inside the SQL, the SQL data source you see now we've updated to say update first name is that so that's our state update statement that was generated the delete insert and update statement has been added to the connection string here so um, we can do the same thing for our uh, we can do the same thing for this one we can go to the behavior section and say auto generate delete button we can set that to true auto generate uh, edit button we can set that to true auto, auto generate insert button set that to true true and what else auto generate rows let's leave that at four so now let's see what that looks like as you can see now we can uh, delete data from the database so this journey best week I'm going to delete it now let's add a new one let's add a new record and I'm going to call that Tom that's another work friend fan so let's insert that into the database so now we have four record another record um, uh, who else is uh, in it Maurice okay so let's insert there as you can see now we've inserted two data item into our database so now let's go and see our database sometimes the database might be funny and you might not see so I usually just do uh, refresh I refresh it and I just say show table data we should have five data in our database now we deleted John you see John is no more here now we have in it Morris so as you can see um, the this table are data bound controls uh, the list view and the form view they allow you to interact with your database uh, in a very easy way you see we haven't written any lines of code we could ed we could edit delete and create new records in a database and we can also page through um, our database one item at a time but uh, in the next video i'm going to go through um, uh, other table or data band controls that allow you to display more than one um, data at a time because right now I mean this is very limited I mean imagine that you want to create an application like eBay uh, to display all the um, auction so you don't want to be displaying one auction at a time you want to display all of them at a time so that user can click and see more details so that's exactly what the rest of the data bound uh, the tabular data band controls are for so in the next video i'm going to show you how to use that one so in the meantime now you have a lot of power in your hand you can uh, use this one to um, allow you i mean to insert data into your database um, i hope you've learned something new thank you